Today we're going to be covering the top five rotoscope effects that you can do on your music videos. There's so much sauce in this video, so I recommend you guys stay all the way to the end because number one is just crazy. Now before we hop into this, I gotta let you guys know that today is May 1st and I'm going to be uploading every single day for the month of May. That's right, you guys are going to be eating this month and we're not just uploading YouTube tutorials, we're also going to be posting shorts on YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram every day. And make sure to go follow my TikTok and Instagram, they'll be linked in the description below. And alongside that as well, it just keeps on getting better. I'm dropping a new edit pack in a week i'm gonna announce the pre-order soon and put it out but to give you a hint the v2 i have released is a crazy fire editing pack and i'm gonna be releasing the v3 in a few weeks without further ado let's hop right into this tutorial now starting off at number five we're gonna go with a simple turbulence displays i'm gonna show you guys that here in a second now if you do not know how to rotoscope i have a tutorial on it that i'll have a link below but most of you guys i'm assuming know how to rotoscope so we're just gonna cut yadio quickly here just by control d duplicating that clip double clicking on it going up to our roto brush here and then cutting them out all right Right, now that we got Yachty rotoscoped out here, we can go back into our composition and then turning off the background, you can see he's cut out. It's not the most perfect thing ever, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just gonna leave it as is. Now to do the turbulence displace effect, we're gonna duplicate the rotoscope layer. So we're gonna have one in between. And then on this clip here, we're gonna go and we're gonna search turbulence displace. We're gonna drag and drop that on the middle clip here. Now, as you can see, it's kind of warped there, but we can warp it even more by playing with the amount here. So I'm gonna put it to something like this. And then you guys can put it the size as well really just tweak it to your liking. I'm going to go with something like, like this. And if we go over and keyframe our evolution here at the beginning, and then if we go over to the end of the clip here, we can just go ahead and crank this knob up and we're going to get some movement in that there. So if we play this through, that looks crazy and we can make it look even crazier if we go ahead and put some sort of glow on it. So I'm going to go ahead here and put on a uni glow. I'm going to put the uni glow on top of the turbulence displace and then playing with the settings here, you guys can bring down the threshold to make it brighter. And this just looks absolutely fire. You guys saw how quick and easy this was to create. All right, now moving on to our next one here, guys, we have Yachty cut out. As you can see, we're going to duplicate that, turn off the roto brush. So once again, we have the rotoed out layer and then the background layer. But then this time we're going to duplicate this two times. And what we have here for number four is we're going to be creating a fire clone effect now we're going to go ahead and turn on motion blur for these two right here and then if we open them up and open up transform here at the very beginning we're going to transform the position and the scale and then we're going to go to somewhere about here and we're going to slide it out just like this and then same one for this one here open transition transform and then exact same thing here we're going to go to the same keyframe and we'll bring it to about here we play that through with the motion blur on as you could see clean motion blur as you can see the edges aren't perfect because i didn't go too hard with the roto brush but to fix that you just want to play with the shift edge here as you can see on this end one here play with the shift edge and the feather a bit you can really get rid of those lines as simple as that but now that we have them going out like that we can move these keyframes a little bit closer if we want it to be a little bit more dramatic of an effect and if we do want them to go back in what we could do is press ctrl c on these keyframes paste them on the end there and then just invert them like that and we'll do the exact same thing here paste them and switch them around so he's going to be going back in towards the end there we play it through Boom, he's out, back in. Maybe even extend it a little bit more just so it doesn't happen right at the end. After tweaking it a little bit more, we have something like this, which I think is fire. You guys can really go crazy with the clones. There's so many different variations that you can create. This is just probably the simplest one, but, but then if you want to go ahead and highlight your keyframes as well and go over to Keyframe Assistant, you can go over and easy ease them. You can also do this by highlighting all of them and pressing F9 on your keyboard. It's going to automatically do that. It's going to make the movements so much more seamless. All right, guys, for this next one here, obviously we have Yachty rotoscoped and we're going to start off by duplicating the rotoscope layer. We're going to throw on an effect called find edges just like this and then what it's going to do is it's going to highlight all of these edges here and we can invert it just like this to get the white edges and you can also blend it with the original but i don't recommend doing that what we're going to do on this is now we're going to go ahead and throw a tint on it just like so and putting the tint on it is just going to change everything to a nice white color and if we put a tint on it and let's say for example we change the tint to a green just like so we can then toggle switches and modes here if you don't see your blending options and then go over to our mode and we're going to set the screen as you guys can see we're going to have these outline scan effects on Yachty just like so and you guys can change them to whatever color you want just by going ahead and playing with the tint so for example red doesn't really match that well because he already is red so we're gonna go with the green for now but if we go ahead and apply an HLS color on this which is color balance here we can keyframe the hue at the very beginning here and then go to the end and then if we run through these we could have it changing and be multicolor just like that which I think is fire so this look isn't for everybody with the multicolor but if you do like it and want to try it on your videos I do recommend giving it a shot and then to really step this up to the next level we're going to go ahead and throw a glow on it any glow of your choice i like the uni glow on this and then playing with the size of it as well can really make it stand out the intensity of course and then 
threshold too. You can basically get all of the edges that stand out on your video to glow just like that. If we turn our background back on, we have an effect just like this. But if you do want to make it a little bit more unique as well, what you can do is you can put it on turbulence displace. And then if you do want to go and change the amount to zero, what you can do is keyframe the amount from zero to something a little bit crazy. Like you can go in and out like that. Just small bits. We have it going to 12 there. Let's have it go to negative 12 here and then back to 12. Kind of have like this warping effect of it going in and out and moving. It's not that noticeable, but it really just kind of adds that extra little bit of sauce. As you can see, the bottom does clip there. So if you do want to fix that, you can just scale it in a little bit like so. And as you can see, it's kind of just moving around around him. And then if you do go ahead and play around with evolution here, which I highly recommend you guys do, you can warp it around just like that. If we play it through, it's not that noticeable, but it is moving around and warping on him, which is a cool look for this. All right, guys, this next one here, as you can see, we have Yachty Rotoscope. I'm just going to open up that background layer again. So once again, same as before, background layer and rotoscope. We're going to go ahead and throw a little effect that we call optics compensation on the top layer. And what this is going to do, if we do reverse lens distortion and then turn it up, it's going to stretch Yachty like this. So it's a cool effect you can kind of have coming out of a scene. Looks a little bit funky right here, but if we do bring it back down to zero here, and then if we toggle switch the modes and put motion blur back on it, you can get this really interesting effect here coming out of a thing, just like that, coming out of a transition and as you go through throughout it um you can just continuously set keyframes like i'm going to do here in a second and then have them go back in you can just set this point to whatever you want so i'm going to set to there and then have them come back out and you can just kind of spam that through the video for certain beat cuts in certain areas and i do recommend highlighting all of them and pressing f9 to easy ease those keyframes which is going to make it a lot smoother and if you do want to go ahead as well and throw rsmb on it i highly recommend you guys do that just to give it the motion blur for when it comes in and out it's just going to add that extra little bit of sauce to it and make it a lot more cleaner i'm going to put that to one there and that is this effect all right guys and moving on to the very last effect here this one is an absolute banger i saved the best for last we're going to be checking out the liquid explosion pack here that my boy brian has we downloaded it here so we're just going to go and open up our animation presets and then under our animation presets we have the liquid explosion pack here and as you guys can see there are a ton of stuff inside of it. So if we just duplicate this layer here that we have rotoscoped, and then in between, we're gonna go ahead and throw on Rick and Morty, for example. Now, boom, as you can see, drag and drop just like that. Look how many effects are in here. If we play this through, we have a super cool portal effect there. And if we take that one off, for example, and throw acid rain on the middle layer there, we have a cool effect just like that, which just really makes your video stands out. And all you're doing is double clicking on it. Trying out another one, for example, let's go with Trip City here. We get that really unique going in effect. And you can also use them on the top ones. So if we put melt face on here look how far this looks kind of blends into it and then goes up into his face and even if we turn off the middle layer here that is just fire as hell. I really love the way that looks. So gas. If you guys do want to go check them out, they'll be linked in the description below alongside a bunch of other fire editing packs. And if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to subscribe because I'm going to be uploading tutorials every single day for the next month. Linked above as well, I have two tutorials that I know you will mess with. Go check one of them out. Peace.